You are the owner of my soul. The good, the good, the good, the bad, What shall I render to you, Jehovah? I will bow down and worship your name, oh. You are God. Oh, I will bow down and worship Jehovah. He is a God. You are our God. You are our God. Oh, tonight, too. You are the eyes we used to see. Oh. You are the key that opened the womb. Oh. You are the owner of our soul. They both the bonnet but never consume. What shall I render to you, O Lord? We will bow down and worship your name. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Oh Lord, you are God eh? from beginning to the end. There is no room for argument. You are God all by yourself. You go time and see. In your hands, you call for light <clears throat> of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are, for you have chosen us to call us your. You are God. You are God. From beginning to the end, there is no place for argument. So you are God all by yourself. Oh, Shubarere, oh, oh, Shubarere, oh, oh, but I won't need Oh, there is your honor. This is your honor, invisible God. You are a miracle worker. This is your honor, invisible God. That you are a miracle worker. This is your no. Oh, this is your no. This is your no. Invisible God. Jesus, you are a miracle worker. This is your no. Invisible God. That you are a miracle worker. Oh, this is your honor. My life is in you, Jesus. Oh, my life is in you, Lord. My life is in you, Jesus. Oh, my hope is in you, Jehovah. My hope. Is in you, Jesus. I say my hope is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Jesus. Oh, I surrender. I surrender to you, Lord. I surrender to you tonight. Jesus, we surrender all to you. Make us, oh, make us clean. We surrender all to you, Jesus. We surrender all to you, Jehovah. 
we surrender to you. Make us so. Thank you. God bless you. Take over, Mommy Titi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think Sister Pastor, God bless you. God bless you for the administration. That's wonderful. Sister Pascal, you are oh. the host or you are the <clears throat> one to continue? Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. God bless you. Um, and God bless Sister Kukiba also for leading us in the leading praise songs. Uh, we welcome everybody here tonight. Tonight is another night of deliverance. Can we mute um, the person where the noise is coming from? Thank you. Amen. Amen. So tonight is another night of a power pack deliverance. And I believe that the Lord is going to meet every one of us at a point of our needs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are all welcome once again. And I pray that we all have a blessed evening tonight and a wonderful evening in Jesus mighty name for us who is is evening for us. And for some of you is morning time or so. So may the Lord bless us all in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Um, I'm going to call <clears throat> on Sister Rose. Sister Rose, please, um, can you lead us in the praise and worship segment? The leading, the leading songs before the meeting starts um, just finished, but now we are going to get into the praise and worship proper. Sister Rose, just about five minutes praise and worship because her time is already fast spent. Amen. We have two sister rows here. <clears throat> sister Rosa Sanji. Okay, it is well. Um, we are going to move on. I'm going to call on Sister Joy. Sister Joy, please lead us in five minutes only of praise and worship. Please, as uh, Mommy Titi always say, please watch your time <laughs> so that uh, we'll be able to move on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let us be in the mood of worship to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We'll be quoted, God will be present. Forever you may be. The lamp upon the truth and stand by my name to worship you, my God, forever you may be. The lamp upon the truth. It's not to worship you again forever, you may be the lamp upon the truth. It's not to worship you, our God, forever, you may be. Upon the truth, we gladly find to worship you, our God. Yo, 
Hallelujah. Thank you so much, our sister, for that wonderful praise and worship. The Holy Spirit has come down in power and in might, and his presence is tangible in our midst right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May he have his way. May he take control. May he control this atmosphere now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, whenever the tangible presence of God is in our midst, uh, something tangible happens in our lives also. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall testify because God has come down in his power and his might. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we welcome everyone here again to this night of deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are all welcome. And Jesus loves us all in Jesus' name. We are going to go straight away into the announcements. <clears throat> Our announcements go as follows. Rapture Ready End Time Movement Worldwide is a heavenly mandated ministry instituted by the Lord Jesus Christ through a great burden to win more souls to the kingdom of God by populating heaven and depopulating hell. The movement is set to prepare the church for the rapture of the saints and the last day revival of souls. The ministry is a part of the vision of Anile Chedoze with divine encounters of heaven, hell, and the kingdom of darkness, having a huge burden to set the earth on fire for Jesus. The ministry hopes to steer the hunger of billions of souls all over the world to love Jesus with all their hearts through a strong discipleship training, revelational knowledge, the word of God, last days revival, and many more. The movement tends to reach out to souls all over the world through undiluted holiness, and to let people see the power of the Holy Ghost as the Lord confirms his word with signs and wonders. Our goal is to set the earth on fire through a last day revival to make disciples of all races, getting souls rapture ready and prepared for heaven, delivering many from the yoke of bondage and sin, exercising the fullness and operation of a fivefold ministry, organizing deliverance, camping programs and prayers all over the nations. Our vision is salvation, sanctification, undiluted holiness, Holy Ghost baptism, consecration, discipleship, power, fruit, and gift of the Holy Spirit. And beliefs in the rapture, tribulation, deliverance, grace, water baptism, trinity, spiritual gifts, and the totality of the word of God. Country fellowships. Do well to join our country fellowships in South Africa, Ghana, Germany, Europe, USA, Canada, United Kingdom, and spreading across soonest. A, a weekly fellowship, a weekly activities go as follows. Monday, midnight deliverance program, like we're in now. Wednesday, Bible study, 7 p.m. That is Nigerian time. Thursday, charismatic fire, 7 p.m. Friday, Holy Ghost power vigil, 1 a.m. Saturdays, children fellowship, 4 p.m. Sunday, 12 p.m. discipleship class. Sunday fire service, 1 p.m. Sisters and brothers, Sunday fellowship, 5 p.m. Holy Ghost, Holy Communion service, last Sunday of the month after service. Praise the Lord. Morning devotions at 5 a.m. country time. USA, Canada, Germany, Africa, Europe, Morning devotions are at 5 a.m. country time. On Friday, the general morning devotion brings together all the various country fellow, um, fellowships in a one morning devotion, Africa, Europe time. The ministry gives in a tithes and offering through the ministry account to support the expansion of God's work and the heavenly mandate. Let's be faithful in our tithings and offerings and sit going to avoid the devourer and closed doors. Let's also support our ongoing deliverance camp pro project for deliverance in Lagos, Nigeria. REM also has a, an email address that if, uh, you can mail an email. If you cannot contact Brother Chedoze, you can email him at remworldwide at gmail.com. 
For more information, counseling, and more, you can contact the man of God um, on that email address, or um, if he's available, also via WhatsApp and um, and other means. Praise Master Jesus. Okay, we are going to go right now into, uh, we are going to go into testimonies, but we are first going to see if there are any first time members, maybe new members fellowshipping with us for the first time. We are going to welcome you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mr. Pascal. It is well. Mark, please, can you inbox me? Okay. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, Hallelujah. we are going to welcome the first time us. I can see somebody's hand is up. Please unmute your mic and tell us your name and where you are joining from so we can welcome you. You are unmuted. Can you speak, Ma? Uh, are you getting me? I mean, yes, we can hear you. Uh, okay, I'm joining for the first time. Nigeria. My name is Njema. I'm Don't... joining you from France. Okay, what's your... Sorry, I didn't get your name well. Miss Njema. Ah, okay, wow. What do we say to Sister Njema? If I, I hope I didn't mess oh, up your name. I'm sorry. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome, ma'am. Sister, you are welcome. Let us unmute our mics and welcome our sister in our midst. Let's unmute our mics. You're welcome, sister. We love you. You're welcome. We love you with the love of Jesus. With the love of the Lord. You're welcome. Do we have another first time, ma'am? Please uh, unmute your mic. Tell us your name and where you are joining from. Say your name. Good morning. My name is Jessica. I'm joining from Nigeria. Wow. What do we say to Sister Jessica? Sister Jessica, you are welcome. Welcome, Sister Jessica. God bless you. God bless you. We love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. 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 What? Amen. Okay. Do we have anybody else? Yes. Okay, I can see your hand. Please tell us your name. Good morning. My name is Sister Mary. Also in Nigeria. Yes. Wow, Sister Mabel, I can see you are doing a great work of evangelism. Praise Master Jesus. What do you say, Sister Mary? Sister Mary, you are welcome, Ma. God bless you. God bless you, Ma. We love you. We love you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to go straight into our testimonies. Minutes of testimonies. Okay, Can you mute if your background is noisy? Okay. All right. If you have a testimony, please, you can unmute your mic and tell us your testimony. Just tell us your name and then tell us your testimony so we can rejoice with you. Amen. Testimony time. I believe we have testimonies. Okay. It, it looks like we don't have testimonies or so. All right. We are, we are going to move. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Joy, always taking all the blessings. Ah, wow. Money. Ah, me, I have testimony to the glory of God. Hallelujah. So, I believe I want to testify this to the glory of the Almighty God. I believe many of us that is in Jeremy, and we know what I'm talking about because this time 
we are the time of coal now, uh, which is snow, it's folly everywhere, it's folly everywhere. So, so I look my I for my room, my flat, I look outside through my window. I saw that everywhere was so cold. So the thing that came to my mind, and I say, God, see what you have done for me. Because I remember when I'm going to my former church, I will just fast and run quick, quick and run away, come out so that I will not face, I will not miss my boss. And I will even enter even the cold, the slow and everything. So the thing was just coming in my mind as God. You see the way you love every one of us, not only me, including you, including me. The way God loves us so much. So I was in my house. I was just imagining it. I could have been, I could have been running now, going to even a place that they will not tell me what will make my soul to make it to the kingdom of God. And I will be stressing myself, enter the cold, going and call me, and I will just be there, wasting my time. I will not know what to make my soul. They will not tell me the other level. So the thing was just coming out. I was just remind, I was just imagine that I could have been in this kind of place, now running up and taking both. But the Lord is so faithful. How mercy and love us so much. He just brings us for the stress. Take, bring every one of us for the stress. Then put us in our own, our own flat, our own house. We are in, am I in my house. Now, everywhere was so warm. I was listening to all the little words of God. I think this is another testimony. <laughs> we could have been running up, but some people will say, I want to miss my boss. And you will, you will be inside the car and you will still go to the place. They will not tell you the truth. Your soul will not make it to heaven. You will just be there. So when I was in my what the Lord have done for me. I said, no, this is another testimony to share to the glory of God for, for me and my brethren, for anyone of us, for us to thank God for the kind of uh, uh, enjoyment the Lord has put us. You are in house now. You are not in go. This of us will be running up and down, going and coming. Hallelujah. I give God the glory for what he has done. So that's why I will testify for the glory of God. Praise, Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So hallelujah, that's my hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. In fact, I don't I don't know what to say. I, I just love this sister so much because she will find a testimony in the midst of anything. Put her in put her in the desert. She will testify. She will glorify God. You, I'm telling you, sister. In fact, what you are just saying is true. Because the snow, we are protected from the snow. We are inside, we are listening to the word of God you know, proper word of God, and, and we should really, I never thought of this as a testimony, but the glory of God, the Holy Spirit has inspired you to think about this and say, this is truly a testimony. In fact, we are, we are grateful. Thank you so much for reminding us. So after what our sister has said, please, we need somebody come up with a testimony. <laughs> yes, sir, you will start testifying like Sister Joyce. It's true. <laughs> Somebody, you have a testimony today. So we are giving another one more chance before we move on for some. The Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to testify to the glory of God. God has added another year for me. And uh, I want to truly thank him for his great protection over me and my family. Amen. In fact, uh, God has been so faithful despite our unfaithfulness. Uh, God has been fighting our battles for us. And truly speaking, God has given me full health. I've uh, never been sick. And I'm giving God the glory. The more I add my age, God strengthens me and gives me full health. I want to give him the glory, and I pray that uh, since he has uh, told me that uh, I will still bear fruit in this age, I want uh, to solicit for prayers that I will not disappoint him. I want to grow from grace to grace, from glory to glory, and from one level of health to the other. And my prayer also is that uh, God should do the same to every other person in REM because uh, there is a lot of work to be done in REM. Uh, we, my prayer is that God will take us, in fact, to the gate of hell 
to get rid of all the rubbish that is going on there so that REM will be will be populated and hell will be depopulated. I want to give God the glory. In fact, just a few hours ago, uh, I was uh, 61 years, and you know that age. I want to glorify God for that. Thank you very much. I got a lot of wishes, and I'm claiming them. My prayer is that I will be, I will still be a tool in the hands of the Lord. God bless us Amen. all. Thank you. Amen. Happy birthday, ma. Let's all say happy birthday to Happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday, mommy. Many more blessings. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We need many more years. Amen. 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 In fact, ma, we rejoice with you. The grace is God is upon your life. And we say happy birthday to you. And, um, Many, many more years serving the Lord. And also we wish you heaven at last in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Okay. I believe we are going to move on now. We are going to move on now. We are going to have an opening prayer. Um, and uh, we are going to call on Brother Paul. Please give us the opening prayer. Over to you, sir. I believe Brother Paul can give us a 10 minutes opening prayer. The background. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's bow around our head as we pray. As we, we get ready for the master's touch. Amen. Holy are you, Lord of creation. Father, that is who you are. 
that word, O Lord. There was nothing that was created without you that was created. The Holy One of Israel, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, husband to the widow, the ashes of days, the Lion of Tribe of Judah, O Money Potter God, O Money President. That is who you are. Heaven and earth adore you, angels bow before you. The defenders are bow, casting down the crown before you, Lord. You may set in a cherub in your dwelling places. There is no one like you, Lord. Father, we call upon your name tonight. The Father, come and be with us, Lord. Mm-hmm. Moses, your servant, said, Lord, if the president does not go with him, he will go no more. Mm-hmm. Father, Lord, tonight, we call upon the presence of our, our Father in heaven. Father, if your president does not go with us, Lord, what can we do, Lord? My Father, my God, come and be with us tonight. Come and do what only you can do tonight, O oh Lord, my Father. Amen. Come and do that only which you can do, Lord. Your Majesty. You share your glory with nobody, Lord. Father, we pray this hour. Whoever come to you with the sickness this tonight, Father, let them receive healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My Father and my God, everyone that is seated here this morning, Father, we have our own issues to tackle. Everybody that cried out to you tonight, Father Lord. Father, attend to their supplications in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. You say we should call upon your name, you will hear us. You, sh- you say we should knock, the door will be open. You say we should seek, we shall find. Lord, we seek only one thing tonight, your presence, Father. Let that presence come down tonight. Let him manifest himself like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, at this altar of realm tonight, let your fire come down. Let your glory come down. Let your nothing come down. Father, let it touch our life one more time. Because tonight, Father, we need the touch of Master. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray. This is how we are going to pray this one together. We are going to pray every against every common monitor agent. See, let, let us come and see what they are doing. How do they do this their team? That is how they call. How do they do this their team? He hang on the air. With microphones, spiritual ears, and they will be listening. We are going to pray. See, if the power of darkness that is hanging on the air to come and listen, to come and hear how we do our thing. Let the Holy Ghost fire descend upon them wherever they are hanging. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth now, begin to pray. Let fire come down on every power of agent 
that is hanging on the air, that is hanging on the water, that is hanging around on the ground, monitoring, looking, searching, to find out our evidence, to find out weak point. Let that fire descend upon them to man. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever I begin to pray, let the Holy Ghost come down upon them. If that be the servant of God, let that fire come down from heaven. Devour every moment of agent. Devour every power of darkness. They are hanging to take account of our gathering. Let your fire come down now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fire come down. Let your fire come down. In the name of Jesus, fire, 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 in the name of Jesus, let the fire be born them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray tonight. Every gathering of darkness, I tell this to our prayer tonight. Let the Holy Ghost scatter them by fire. Every power of darkness, wherever they gather, concerning this, our, our prayer tonight, concerning our gathering tonight, let them receive the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. And begin to pray. Open your heart and begin to pray. Every man of darkness, wherever they gather, concerning our prayer tonight, let the fire of the Holy Ghost scatter them in the name of Jesus. Scatter them wherever they are. Scatter them wherever they are. In the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter them wherever they are. Scatter them wherever they are. Scatter them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Scatter them in the name of Jesus. Scatter them by fire. Scatter them every gathering of darkness. Every power of darkness. Wherever they gather. Concerning this our prayer. Concerning our vigil tonight. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost scatter them, Lord. By fire. Scatter them now by fire. Scatter them now by fire. Scatter them now by fire. Jesus, because it is not gathered in the name of the Lord Jesus. Release the brimstone of fire on every garden of darkness. Concerning our prayer video tonight, let your fire come down in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. As the man of God mount this altar, and as we begin to journey together with him in prayer, Father, release your spirit, release your fire in the spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, open your mouth, begin to pray. We are not begin to pray tonight. As we begin to join tonight with the man of God, lay your fire for release your fire in our spirit. Release your fire in our spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, release your fire in our spirit. Release your fire in our spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, as we begin to pray, Lord, uh, release your fire in our spirit. Release your fire in our spirit. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, let the mighty God release his fire in the spirit. Release your fire in my spirit. Uh, as I begin to pray, release your fire in my spirit. Release your fire in my spirit. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. One more prayer. We begin to pray. Say, Father, tonight, as the man of God will mount that altar, let my chest to reveal. 
Father, renew my case tonight. Uh, I show some man my father. Father, renew my case tonight. Uh, let my father renew. Renew my case tonight. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, renew my case. Uh, renew my case tonight. In the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, O oh Lord. Uh, renew my case tonight. Uh, renew my case tonight. Uh, renew my case tonight, O oh Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus. My case, 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 my my case, my case, my case, my my case, my case, my case, my case, my case, my my case, 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 Amen. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. The last one, the last one, I want to over. Begin to pray. Every evil arrow that have been shot against me tonight, uh, I reverse it by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, you are a liar. Evil arrow shot on the bit of the concerning my life tonight, concerning my family tonight, concerning my prayer life tonight. Uh, and the Lord, bring uh, my fire, my fire, my fire. I I remember that in the name of Jesus, I the name of the Lord. Every arrow, 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 Jesus, my name we pray. In Jesus, my name we pray. The King of Glory, as we pray tonight, Father, come and take us along. Father, review the foundation of our life tonight. Father, review our chest tonight, O Lord. Every class of the enemy concerning our life tonight, Father, we nullify by the power that is the blood of Jesus. Every evil voice from nothing, uh, every evil voice uh, begin to call us tonight uh, Father, anywhere they stand uh, as they call our name, they will see the fire of the Holy Ghost, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Father oh, as you so mount this order as you so we mount this order tonight, uh, Father, release your fire, let your fire be dead to fall whatever thing that come upon that order, Lord, uh, it shall be fulfilled, whatever cry we cry on that order, it shall be fulfilled. Uh, lay the fire of the Holy Ghost on that order. Let that order be purified. Let that order be purified. Uh, every arrow of sickness, uh, every arrow of pain, uh, every arrow of sorrow, shot against any member of this congregation, Lord. Uh, Father, we repart them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father, every dry pillar of the server, every dry pillar of the server can never see blood of this one to suck. Can never see blood of this one to suffer. I say they are not your candidate in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you are not their candidate in the name of Jesus. Every blood of this demon that is ready to suck blood. I say by December month, they will not see blood to suffer in the name of Jesus because we are not their candidate. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Tonight we cover the prayer by the blood of Jesus. And the mountains are Jerusalem. So we start our prayer with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, brother. God bless you. Um, we are going to just say two more quick prayer points before the song ministration, and then we we'll hand over to the man of God. 
um, the two prayer points we are going to say quickly is just to ask, go before the Lord and begin to plead for forgiveness, begin to plead for mercy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we please mute where the noise is coming from? Let us begin to plead for mercy tonight as we come to the throne of grace to obtain mercy in times of need. Let the Lord God Almighty begin to shower his mercy upon us in any way that we have come short of his glory, in any way that we have come in any way, in any way, have mercy on us. In the name of God, I am so sorry, oh Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our body, soul, and spirit. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over the gadgets. one last prayer point. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to come and take absolute control. Come and take preeminence. Amen. I believe our time is already fast spent. I'm not sure if we have time for one ministration song or we can just call on the man of God to come now. Um, okay, let's do the song of ministration. Sister Rose, Sister Rose from the choir. The, I believe there are more one, than one rose here, but the one who is in the choir, that's Sister Rosa Sanji. Please, can you give us one song of ministration? Are you there? Yes, Sister Pascalai. God bless you, Sister. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Touch us one more time, O oh Lord. Touch us one more time, O oh Lord. Need a touch from the Master. Need a touch from the Lord. Touch us one more time, O oh Lord. Father, heal us now. Heal us one more time, O oh Lord. Father, heal us now. Heal us one more time, O oh Lord. Need healings from the master. Oh, yes. Need healings from the Lord. He lost one more time, oh Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Than silver. Lord, you are more costly, more beautiful, beautiful, 
There is nothing no, I desire no, 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 to compare with God, you are a precious unto Lord, you are a God and God. Lord, you are a beautiful and kind. And nothing I desire compared to you. And nothing I desire. And nothing I desire. And nothing I desire compares to you. Father, we worship you, we magnify your holy name. Lord, there is nothing we desire compared to you. We just surrender all to you, Lord, as we come before your throne of grace this hour. We pray, Father, Lord, that you will come and take control. You will come and take preeminence, Lord. For we depend on you, we rely on you, we count on you for everything. We have no power of our own. Father, I pray that tonight we are going to decrease and you will increase, that you will take more of us and give us more of you. We pray him for your servant, Lord, we pray that tonight you will use him, oh God, more than ever before, that you will use him for your glory, you will manifest your power, oh God, tonight through him. We pray, oh God, for more anointing, for more wisdom, we pray that you will give him all trust in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, sister. God bless you. Okay, I'm going to call on our brother now, brother Chedoze. Over to you, sir. Okay. Um, okay, sorry, sister. Praise the Lord. Um, Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I believe tonight is somebody's night. Uh, Amen. It's my night. I believe tonight is somebody's night of visitation also. It's my night. Hey, my it's my night. night in Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. It is. Once, once the word of knowledge comes out, you just take it in, and I believe it's going to be established. I might not, <clears throat> I might not be, I might not be shouting or something like that also, but I believe that the Holy Spirit will be speaking to you by the special grace of God. And then tonight also is the night of encounter. Okay, um, my friend is here with me. Uh, okay, let me try to be on a video so that I don't know if you'll be able to see him. Uh, he's here with me, he's by my side. And um, I think you, some of you must have met him before. He's very wonderful and wonderfully made uh, by the special grace of God. And I believe you know his name. That's the Holy Spirit. So. It's my senior, it's my senior boss, <laughs> and uh, why well, I'm his, um, I'm his junior, I'm his junior, you know, and I believe that together we are here, uh, and then God is going to visit as many of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. um, and that thing again, I want you to know, in this deliverance program, I treat, I always see sickness as demon spirits. So if somebody was having a cancer, I see it as demon spirit. And um, okay, uh, praise the Lord. I hope we can hear me well, right? Uh, okay. Yes, sir. And if somebody was having something like HIV AIDS, I see it as demon spirit. Why? Because many of all these sicknesses, in short, almost all sicknesses are works of demon spirits and all the rest, and they have their representatives. So by the special grace of God, as we call out those things, and um, I believe those things will get away in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We magnify you for there is no one like you. We bless you, mighty Father, early on, the most high living God. Oh Lord, we come once more again and we worship the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for who you are, for what you are going to do in our life. Whenever you do your work, whenever you release your word in the life of your children, it's not because of me. 
Oh Lord, it's because of you want to glorify your holy name. Oh King of all glory, right now we magnify the Holy Spirit. We exalt Him and we welcome Him in our presence once more again to take charge, to do your work, and to open the cases of your children, Lord, to destroy all those arrows of darkness that has been clinging upon the lives of your children, Lord. It doesn't take you one day to destroy the works of 100 years. Lord, you do your best and you glorify your name in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever that will be a hindrance to our deliverance and whatsoever that want to stand in the way, Lord, we command it, get away from that place right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, begin to have your way in Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Um. I'm just going to take a little bit of song, then uh, we'll just go into the prayers. Is able abundantly able to deliver and to save. Jesus is able abundantly able abundantly able to deliver those who trust Jesus is able, is able. My sister, abundantly able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. Master is able, abundantly able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust Jesus is able, is able, is able, abundantly able. There is nothing he would not do to deliver and to save. Abundantly able to deliver. 
I, I know I'm seeing somebody here right now, and um, this is something that you're going through. Um, this it has to do with depression. Um, it's a strong depression, something because of um, um, debt, debt, something like debt. You're 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 owing a lot of money, and someone like keeps piling up, and you're asking yourself, how are you going to do this? And you're already having depression, and it's already it's already hitting you so strongly, and all the rest. Uh, what I want you to know is that uh, by the special grace of God. Depression is a demon spirit first. It has to be taken away. And when it is taken away, you can rest in the Lord so that he's going to help you so that you can be able to do all that you are supposed to do by the special grace of God. And you do not need to panic by God's grace. And, you know, somebody there also, um, as I'm speaking right now, you're the only one working, but the man is not working. That's your, your husband. Um, he's not been working and you've been asking a lot of questions and all the rest. Uh, one thing I know for sure is that there are wicked powers that are standing against his life and all the rest. This spirit of retrogation, they don't want him to move forward. And, and that's why um, he sought for jobs and all the rest. But it's like nothing is happening and all the rest. One thing I know is that the Lord is going to visit you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to visit you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let me open your eyes to something. There are many things that are happening on earth as I'm speaking. Many things are happening. And when I mean many things are happening, you might think that most of them are not really God's plan. Most of them are not really what God has decided to want to do and all the rest. But the devil is so wicked. He's so wicked that he's able to frustrate and change a lot of things. You might be thinking that this is what the Lord wants you to do and all the rest. Just like somebody is here and um, you're doing something like um, you're doing something like the work of God or so, but you've been doing it with struggle. In short, you are even asking yourself if really this is what you are supposed to be doing and all the rest. What I want you to do right now is this particular thing I'm talking to just just hold, just take a hold, take a hold and you know, take a break from that thing you are trying to do for the Lord and all the rest. And go and ask the Lord, go and ask the Lord back, is this the exact spot or is this the exact thing that you want me to do? And you get a reply. And when you get a reply, you will see what the Lord will tell you. And when the Lord tells you that, you will not be able to understand that indeed that I've been making a little bit of mistake. And you see how things are going to be flowing. I believe that wherever you are tonight, the Holy Spirit is going to visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what kind of kingdoms have gathered over you. I don't care if it's Satan. I don't care what kind of demon spirit and all the rest. But one thing I know, because Jesus is here, the power of the living God is going to touch you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing I know, because of the fire of the Spirit of God is here, that wicked power that has been holding you, holding you backward from doing the things that you want to do and all the rest. You decide to want to put your hand on something. It's just as if nothing keeps working. You go here, nothing keeps working and all the rest. Listen to me. The hand of the Lord, that's the oil of favor, is going to come upon your life wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See, listen to me. God did not say that. The channels there. You are going to be serving me. How can you be a child of God? Filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And marine agents are trying to disturb your life. And demon spirits are trying to disturb your life. And wicked territorial powers are trying to work against you. That's what I call spiritual tautology. It's not normal. It's not supposed to be. Can you imagine Jesus? You know, Jesus walking that. You know, the Queen of Course is disturbing Jesus and all that. And Jesus is saying that he's crying, Oh, Queen of Course, why are you disturbing? Can you imagine Jesus like that? See, listen to me. That's why the Bible says, As Jesus is, so you are in this world. Every power that has this decided to stop and to touch the anointing of God upon your life. I say let them be scattered by fire. I say let them be scattered by fire. I say let them be scattered by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that brother is here, and um, I, I'm not going to call your name because of your situation, but I, I saw the message he just wrote to me. <laughs> I'll read this to you. I'm not calling his name so that you understand that some certain things that we are talking about is reality. You know, sometimes some people might think, oh, are these things real? And all the rest. But this brother I'm talking about right now, because I know you'll be delivered. I know you wrote to me something like, 
you have visited so many men of God and all the rest. That's not my business. And you wrote something like, uh, you know, powers that are disturbing you. Later, you see yourself sleeping with this. And you see yourself sleeping with that. They take your blood. And then uh, before you know it, you are eating a lot of food. And you are drinking things. And you know that it's blood you are drinking from what you wrote there and all the rest. I saw your WhatsApp message and all the rest. Listen to me. I know where those parts are coming from. The hand of the Lord is going to come upon your life and frustrate the wicked embargoes of darkness upon your spirit, man, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. I don't care. I don't care where they are coming from because the Bible says something in Psalms 34 verse 7. It says that the angel of the Lord encamped those that fear. And that's why the Holy Spirit opens your eye. You see that there are plenty of people that are with us. And those that, those that are against us and all the rest. The power of God, the angel of the presence of God, which is the Holy Spirit, is enough to destroy all those wicked past. But I want you to have faith. I want you to believe. I want you to understand what Jesus has done for you on the cross. I want you to understand that it's no more my righteousness. It's not about your righteousness. It's not about what you can do. It's not about your self-righteousness. It's now the work of Jesus Christ. And that's why we now go into the rest of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's going to perfect, you know. You know, sometimes we can think that holiness is by, you know, myself and all the rest. That the deliverance is because I prayed this way and I prayed that way and all the rest. It has been finished before the foundations of the world. And with this understanding, see, when I began to understand the power of grace and what grace can do in your life, listen to me, the kind of freedom I got. I'm not afraid, you know. I'm not thinking, you know, what's going to happen next year? What's going to happen next year? You know, I'm not, I'm not dismayed because I know something. I know that as long as you understand the finished work of Jesus, and as long as you understand the power behind the blood, you will see that things will be what the way God has planned it in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I see the blood of Jesus will frustrate powers tonight in your life. I see the blood of Jesus will frustrate powers tonight in your life. I see the blood. I'm not talking about an ordinary blood. Listen to me. If there are banks of blood in the wicked kingdom, if there are banks of blood in the Bermuda Triangles, and if there are banks of blood in the seven or forty kingdom, I'm here to tell you there's another powerful blood. There's another wonderful blood. It's the blood that is greater than every other blood. If there is an evil covenant, there is a greater covenant. If there is a past covenant, there is a bigger covenant. And I'm talking about the covenant behind the blood. The covenant behind the blood of Australia. Listen to me. That pain that you are always feeling, and around your tummy. That pain you are always feeling, you know, around your womb side. Uh, and it's coming. It's so, it's so pressing. It's so pressing. Listen to me. The power of the blood will touch you. The blood will meet you wherever you are. The blood will meet you wherever you are. And when the blood begins to flow into your blood vein, uh, it's going to destroy the world and the things that the devil has put in there. Listen to me. There are some people right now, as I am speaking, they are, they are caged. That's what we call witchcraft cage. And they are caged by power. power that do not want to achieve the things that they want to achieve. Listen to me, if you're a child of God and you are not prayer, your name is sorry because the way Satan will used to want to frustrate your life, huh? and that's why these powers. There are people, as I'm speaking right now, they are unconscious witchcraft. Even as I'm here, you can be serving the Lord for 50 years, 30 years, 20 years, and you might not even know your spiritual identity. I say tonight, begin to receive revelation of who you are. I say begin to receive revelation of who you are. In the Begin to receive revelation of who you are. See, listen to me. When you understand the revelation of who you are, when I understood that, what wow, Chidozi is not just Chidozi. I'm not just Chidozi. I'm a child of the living God. I'm not just Jesus, you know. I'm not just what people think I am, you know. I don't want to be known by, you know, my 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 course of study. I don't want to be known by intellect and all the rest. I want to be known by what heaven calls me and all the rest. And when the Father said to me, you are my chosen one, he really did something in my spirit, man. So I said, wow, so I can be the chosen vessel of the Lord and all the rest. Listen to me, wherever you are right now, I say let that arrow, that wicked arrow they have used against your life. I say let be frustrated. Huh? I see them being frustrated. The mighty name of Jesus. Some of you will go to bed. Uh, and there's this kind of dream you will have. Uh, when you have that dream, you will begin to see the deliverance power of God upon your life. And you see, is it as easy as this? Yes, it's as easy as that because of the blood. Yes, it's as easy as that because of the blood. Uh, yes, it's as easy as that because of the blood. Uh, and you know, you are trying to start up something. You are trying to start up something. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you here right now. You, you're trying to start up something for the Lord and all the rest. And you know, you are looking for the enemies. You know, how am I going to achieve this? And how am I going to achieve that? And all the rest. It's 
short, you want to even go and beg from some other people to be able to do this. Listen to me, you don't understand. You, you are now in a greater covenant. The, the, the covenant of the old is, is, is nothing compared to this new covenant and all the rest. If you trust in the mighty power of Jesus Christ, listen to me, those forces of darkness must be broken. I say they must be broken. Huh? I say they must be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. What if I told myself is, as long as I am preaching on this earth, no kingdom should be able to have rest. There are wicked principalities and power. You see, there is a difference between principality. There is a difference between powers. There is a difference between rulers of darkness and all the rest. I don't care wherever they have mentioned your name. See, some of you right here as I'm speaking, they are mentioning your name, but you might not understand what I'm trying to talk about. I pray that one day the Holy Spirit will open your eyes so that you will see what Jesus is doing for you. And when the Holy Spirit opens your eyes, you say, eh, so it's like this. Now, so, oh, is it like this and all the rest? Listen to me. When the Holy Spirit begins to open your eyes, you will see what the Lord has done for you. Some of you, as they are calling your name, maybe they call, Chee, does he, all right? You know what happens in the kingdom of darkness? That name begins to turn to Jesus arise. Jesus arise. See, whenever they will be calling your name, they will be calling the name of Jesus. And as they are calling the name of Jesus, fire will be coming out. The fire of God will be moving. And it's going to be moving. It's going to be moving in their kingdom. And before you know it, that bottle wherever they have put your glory. That bottle wherever they have put your glory. That bottle wherever they have put your destiny. I command it to scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that bottle, wherever they are putting your glory, uh, wherever they are putting your glory, uh, calling your name day and night. Rusa Pepe, Usia Libra Sakanya, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalm 100. Some wicked powers. That's why you are, have you noticed that in some churches, witchcraft. Witches can be comfortable and be sitting down. <laughs> you don't understand what I'm saying. I even mean in some holiness churches. Witches can be comfortable and they are sitting down. And they are walking and they are doing their thing. He doesn't move them. He doesn't move them. What's there? A particular brother uh, from a wonderful denomination. <laughs> he got married and when he got Marriage. And not that he didn't pray, he prayed, but I will help you understand how manipulation works in the realms of spirit. He prayed, he asked the Lord or so, possibly maybe something opened up to him and tell him this is the wife or something like that. Not knowing that you got married to a snake. Mm. <laughs> until, until one day the woman just, you know, turned into another thing and all the rest. And that's when his eye opened. As in, he was so surprised. You don't understand. You have been living with somebody for a long time. And all of a sudden, this person's spiritual identity open up to you and all that. And you ask yourself, I mean, I'm, I'm not telling just just of recent, I was with a particular brother, and um, um he's more of a pastor and all the rest. I, I won't call the particular city. This is somebody that he got married, as in though I he was manipulated. But I'll tell you how manipulation works in the realms of spirit. He was manipulated. This particular person prays almost seven hours a day. So I want you to know how manipulation works again. He prayed and he prayed and he prayed. Somehow he got married to this woman and all the rest. But this same woman, this same woman, well, this same woman will come, you know, for somebody to come and tell you and all the rest, um, uh, what can you do? I came to destroy you, you know. I came to destroy you myself. See, listen to me. There are married agents that are working on the streets. This one, nobody is not like before where they used to hide some certain things. Nobody is hiding things. So that's why if you are here, and you are living a kind of promiscuous life. They will tie you off and all the rest. There are marine agents on the streets working and begin. In short, they have they have destroyed many. They are they have caught this. I'm not talking about ordinary people, even children of God and all the rest. And one thing is that it is for better, for worse, forever and ever and all the rest. There is no divorce and all the rest. But one thing I want you to know is that there are ways people can be manipulated, and you can be manipulated when you don't have. The infilling of the Holy Ghost, when you are not filled, there's a level you need to be filled so that you can withstand the wiles of satanic embargo. Listen to me. Every power that is manipulating your life, 
Every power that is manipulating your decisions, every power that is manipulating the things you want to do, I say let them catch fire. I say let them catch fire. I say let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus, I say let them catch fire. Manipulating your going out, manipulating your decisions, manipulating the things that you want to do, I say let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let them begin to catch fire. Let them begin to catch fire. Powers that are manipulating you. You are manipulating your decisions, sir. Let me give cat fire in the name of Jesus, sir. Let them begin to cut fire in the name of Jesus, sir. Let them begin to cut fire. You are not praying. Somebody, you are not praying. 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 Pray. Pray. Begin to destroy all those works of darkness, sir. Begin to destroy that power, sir. Your life and your marriage, sir. Begin to destroy that I destroy you by the fire of the Holy Spirit. fire. Fire, fire, fire. Amen. I think only, only like one or two things can uh, always like on media mic. Let's say maybe those uh, in the prayer group, maybe Bro Godwin and maybe Bro Paul and you know um, like that count so that it doesn't obstruct uh, obstruct my my voice uh, by the special grace of God. So th- that's another thing again. There are some people that you know they're even here, and it's like their spirit is caged. See, if you go into the deep world and the spirit world, you'll be seeing a lot of cage spirits. And you'll be asking yourself, is it that this person is not going to church? Is it that this one thing about you will hardly get results? Praise the Lord. If you don't hit them at the right strategic path, if you are just praying at me and all the rest, maybe you were supposed to pray for, you know, powers that are sucking your blood and sucking your blood from the blood bank. Instead of you releasing fire on the blood bank, you are releasing fire on the water kingdom and all the rest. It won't, it won't yield results. That's praying and miss. Praying and miss is not directing it, not focusing it to the right direction. And you will not easily focus it to the right direction until you have revelation. But you have understanding of what you are praying about. So it's not just to pray, it's to understand what you are dealing with. And it's to understand the past. That's why I advise people, if you come to this deliverance service and all the rest, it's good. I thank God that we must have purified ourselves. Purify yourself very much well. I know I'm saying you should purify yourself very much well because I understand what we are dealing with. Not that, not that you get back to bed and another demon comes to slap you and all the rest. Of it. So you are praying, man. you are praying, you are, you are shaking me and all the rest. You are shaking me. Now it's my turn and all the rest. No, but you should be able to go back and, you know, because the dream world is another area of manipulation 
and obvious. You should be able to go back and have power. Like, like one of our sisters that was sharing a testimony with me yesterday, and that our uncle that was trying to deal with her by the special grace of God. But with series of prayer, maybe from the last night and all the rest, she now had power to overcome him. And you know, the uncle wanted to touch her baby or something like that, and it's not the uncle couldn't touch her baby. See, there are powers. There are people that are just waiting, and it's not as if they've not been trying you. They've been consulting you and all the rest. They've been consulting you. But because of their fire, because of their prayers, because of the things that you are making, it cannot happen. There are some of you that they have decided to kill, maybe possibly on November 21. It has been put as a date. In the kingdom of darkness, they strategically put the date. They just strategic. That's why, that's why you notice that when an accident, when somebody dies through an accident, it did not start there. It's not every accident that the person was killed by the driver or something like that. No. It's not, it's just like they are set a date. This person must die today. So it can happen to enemies. That's why you see that somebody just slums on the bedroom or on the bed stub or on the jet or something like that. Oh, you see what happened? Definitely medical people will always give you an explanation for everything. They'll tell you the blood went up and there was a high blood pressure and, you know, he didn't sit well, he did this. And there is always an explanation for everything. But it didn't happen like that. They had set a date in the realms of spirit and said this person must die. I remember when somebody had a dream and told me something like, and I knew because I was getting confirmation in my spirit and told me, oh, at this point in time, they have given you seven days to leave Chelsea and all that. I said, seven days? Who gave me seven days? Me. <laughs> and I've never done anything on earth. How possible? It's not possible for me to go and all the rest. But I had to pray by the special grace of God. And I knew it was, I was just waiting for the seventh day. Them, okay, let me see what will happen. Let me see that wicked spirit that will come and cause all my spirit. It's for my spirit to rise up from my body and go. If I don't have to go, I will not go and all the rest. Because it's not time. You must understand the authority that you have in Jesus and how powerful you are in Jesus Christ. And don't look at yourself and say, oh, I'm just this and I'm just that and all the rest. Listen to me. Every power that is toiling with your destiny, I say let them catch fire. I say let them catch fire. Power toiling with your destiny. I say let them catch fire. Power is calling with your destiny. I say let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Power is calling with your destiny. I say let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Power is calling with your destiny. I say let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus. I don't. In the name of Jesus. You know, I've heard something in my spirit. And I know that the person is here. The, the man you are living with right now is the third person. Now, the first two men that you, you, you were staying with, it's not like you were married to them, but this third one, by the special grace of God, was the one that, you know, decided and, you know, if I live with him and all the rest. But still yet, you are still having a kind of struggle, a kind of struggle in that marriage. All these things are rooted in your family. These things are family authors, family authors. I was so surprised to hear something that a particular person, his grandfather gave birth to one child. Now, you know that some certain things are real. His grandfather gave birth to, there were a series of girls, something like that, maybe only one boy. The father gave birth to only one boy or so. The same thing with the other person. He keeps transferring like that. I'm like, who is going to break this chain? Listen to me. That's why God has given you the light of understanding. That all those chains of darkness that is revolving around, somebody must break it out. Right now, every family altar. All those water that have been risen, that tree in your village, uh -huh. that I go to your village right now, that we can tree that they are using to spot you, that we can tree that they are using to walk against your life uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. Let it be born by fire. Let it be born by fire. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. they are using to manipulate your destiny. Uh -huh. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. Uh -huh. You are not the child of God. You are not the child of God. Wherever you are right now, uh -huh. let the power of the Lord come upon your life. Let all the elemental spirit and elemental power and the strongest come by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. 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 Begin to p
That's why, you know, after this prayer, somebody will realize that the things that were not happening before, it will just start happening. The doors that were closed before, it will just start opening and all the rest. You will just, you will just suddenly realize it that it's like people do not want to like help you or assist you. All of a sudden, it just becomes easier and all the rest. Because many times, all those dreams, when you begin to see those mastery, those are demons. Those are demon spirits. But they now come to bring a lot of bad luck and the spirit of disappointment and all the rest. And now that's why all those wicked things have to be broken. I believe every evil masquerade that is revolving around your life. Whenever you have a dream, you begin to see something like that. It's like something is chasing you. Chasing you. you will run. You will stop. All of a sudden, you just wake up. You will realize that, oh, I woke up from a terrible dream and from a bad It's not supposed to be so now. Can you imagine Jesus now? You know, Jesus sitting there and saying, Oh, Satan just chased me this night and all this. Now I'm waking up. Oh, Father, save me. <laughs> if it can happen to Jesus, it can happen to you. I say, if it can happen to Jesus, it can happen to you. I say, if it can Amen. happen to Jesus, it won't happen to you. In the Amen. name of Jesus. That's why the Bible says that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. The Bible says that being made a cost uh, for cost is that was hung on the tree. Uh, listen to me. Uh, wherever you are right now, uh, because of the price that Jesus has paid, uh, every evil man's creator uh, standing against your life. Uh, what are you waiting for? Let them begin to cast fire. Uh, my thunder. Uh, my God. Uh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, begin to pray. Every evil man's creator. Lord, my day. connected to each other. <clears throat> Anger is a wicked spirit. Anger is able to cause sicknesses in your life just by getting angry. Now, whenever you get angry, you invite demon spirit all around you. That's what happens. There are more sickness that people are going through right now. It's not even as if it is caused, it is you that caused it yourself. You invited those spirits. That's why if you decide to walk in love, if you decide to forgive, and if you decide to ensure that, you know, tell the Lord to take away the spirit of anger from you, you will realize that it will bring about a great health in your life. You might not understand what I'm saying, but this is a secret of spirit. That's why so many people, that's why if you see an angry person, watch closely, they are always falling under the oppression of sickness. Anger is connected 
is very connected because these things are operations of spirit and demon spirit. That's why I tell you that many things, many sicknesses that people go through and all the rest, these things are works of demons and all the rest. That's why sometimes I even believe the best way is to cast them away. The same way you treat demons is the same way you treat sickness. It's just to cast it away or so. And it's just to bind it and lose it and all the rest. Because that's the same way they operate and all the rest. And that's why it's good. And it's great to work in the word of God. As you're working in the word of God, something happens in your life. It begins to shield you and shape you and keep you away from a whole lot of things. Every wicked spirit of anger, I bind it and I cast it away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, I bind it and cast it away. Get away from that life. Get away. You spirit of anger. You spirit of, you demon of anger. You demon of anger right now, right now, right now. I command you, get away from that life. Get away from that life right now. Get Amen. away from that life. Oh yeah, pack your bag and go. Pack your bag and go from that life. Amen. You demon of Amen. anger, trying to frustrate that brother. Trying to frustrate that sister. You angry spirit. Every little thing, you are angry. You are, you should. It's just like, you just like, you want to cause hell. You want to break hell in that house. You in short, The house will scatter. Because of you, that house wants to scatter. And all the rest. You wicked spirit. This is that anger that is closing your door. <clears throat> It is this spirit of anger that is holding your door, that is holding your promotion. It is this spirit of anger that is holding your promotion. Any little thing, before you know it, I'm angry. I'll get angry. I'll get angry. I'll get angry. Child of God, you get angry. It's just like you are telling demons. Uh, I will bring demons. So I will tell demons to come. Oh yeah, demons come. Oh yeah, demons come. Come to me right now. You wicked spirit of anger. Your time is up. Uh. I say your time is up. Your time is up. Uh. We are getting away from that life right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, oh yeah, get away, get away from that, uh, get away from that life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is this same spirit of anger, and I'm talking to you here. Is this same spirit of anger that is affecting that your relationship? Every little thing you want to get, you can't control yourself. You just want to get angry and all the rest. Anger is rooted from pride. Let me give you a secret. It is because whenever you get angry. Okay, can you get angry if you meet your president? If you meet somebody like Donald Trump, are you going to get angry at Donald Trump? How are you going to get angry at him? You know, you should, you, you feel that, no, no, I can't get angry at this kind of person. You know, he's a prominent person and all the rest. You get angry because you feel that those people are more little than you. It's the spirit of pride. Can we hear me? Praise the Lord. So we Hallelujah. We can hear you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. So it is it is just because and um and many 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 sisters are uh, are uh, I don't know, I don't know, it's like um Satan has decided to put this kind of spirit in their life and all the rest. That's why some men are just thinking, Jesus, did I make a mistake like this? What kind of anger is this? And all the rest. If they get angry like this, the whole roof is just like fire is coming down from heaven. Transform that spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to do something in your life. That's why sometimes it's, it's you. You need to work on your own self because those demons have come into your spirit and they are trying to take charge of your life. That's why you need to tell them, get away from my life and all the rest. That's this why I treat, I, I treat pride as a demon. And I treat um, anger as a demon. I treat lies as a demon. All I just need to say is, you spirit of life, because sometimes you want to you want to overcome. You want this thing to leave you, but you see that it's like you are addicted to that thing. Like, 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 like you cannot stop or something like that. And all this. That's that spirit. That's how they operate. And before you know it, it will stop you from getting a lot of things that you need to get. You are asking, why is it that my door is not open? Why am I not getting divine promotion? You can't get divine promotion. That demon of anger will want to hold you down. Whenever you want to get that promotion and all the rest, that demon of anger will come. Now listen to me. If somebody is very spiritual, if you are spiritual, you will see the signal all over people. You will know. <laughs> There's a realm you get in spirits. If you see somebody that is having a kind of spirit of life, you will just know. It's, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how it happens. But you. You will just know. You will sense it. Do you know that that's the same way? Even some worldly people that are wiser than Christians can sense this thing. And that's how you lose your blessing. And that's how you lose. Even sometimes some sisters say, "Oh, I can't get married because now married spirit can work with this kind of anger spirit and all the rest." That's why, oh, I can't get married. Nobody's approaching me and all the rest. Change that attitude and change that character. Tell that demon to get away from your life and all the rest. 
These are deep secrets. Wherever you are, you are receiving restoration. I say you are receiving restoration. I say you are Amen. receiving restoration. A humble Amen. spirit, a contrite heart. I command Amen. it upon your spirit. You demon spirit, I bind and I cast you. Or you go to the desert where you belong. That's where I'm sending you right now. I say that's where I'm sending you, you demon spirit in that life. Yes, that's where I want you to go to. Go to that desert right now. And don't come back to that life. I am warning you in the name of Jesus. I say don't come back to that life in the mighty name of Jesus. I say be set free right now. I say receive freedom. I say receive freedom. Amen. In the name Amen. Of Jesus. I say receive freedom. Yes, sir. You are a child of God. You cannot be bounded by this power. I say receive freedom in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Begin to receive freedom. Begin to receive freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You know, when you hear of something, there's a prayer point I want to give you right now. When you hear of it, you might be thinking, is this still real? <laughs> there are powers that have set coffins for people already. This prayer point you want to pray, don't just pray only for yourself, but pray for your family. Listen to me. It's good to be a child of God. You might not understand what it means to be a child of God. But you are not just covering yourself. Because of you, you are covering so many other people. You are covering your neighborhood. There is a fire that you have. Your fire is able to even cover a whole nation. Yes, yes. And your fire is able to cover a whole locality. And that's why even people around you might not be happy with you. Because there is this fire that you are carrying. Somebody, you will receive the baptism of fire. Somebody Amen. will receive the baptism of Amen. fire. Somebody will receive the, the baptism of fire. The baptism Amen. of fire that helps you to destroy works of darkness. Uh. The baptism of fire. The baptism of fire. Amen. The baptism of fire. The fire of God. Uh. The baptism of fire. Where you are so. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the baptism of fire. In the name of Jesus, the baptism of fire. Even if you place your hand on that, your sick boy, that your boy that is always falling sick, I'm talking to that small boy. Even if you place your hand on him, because of the baptism of fire, something is going to happen. That is going to leave you and fall into him. In the anointing of God, the baptism of fire, even if it's your wife that is sick, now you yes, take Lord. your hand and place yes, on her. Yes, Lord. She will get healed. It's the baptism of fire. It's the baptism of fire. It's the baptism of fire. In the name of Jesus, sir. no more serving the Lord as usual. No more serving the Lord as usual. No more Christianity as normal business. Sir. I say the baptism of fire. Let it come upon you. Sir. And they will not begin to know. There is a power greater than the power of the world. In the name of Jesus, sir. that's your small child. I used to have something like hotness of the body. Every time his body is hot. Sir. I say right now, you will take your hand and place on him. You will place your hand on his head. Something will come. Something will transfer from you and transfer into him. I'm talking of the baptism of fire. I'm thinking to somebody here. That baptism of fire comes upon you. In the name Amen. of you. You are now Amen. another man. You cannot Amen. become the ordinary person you used to be. Your Amen. hands are now becoming anointed. Wherever Amen. you are, the fire of God. The Amen. fire of God. Yeah, the fire and your hand begins to use fire. Anything Amen. you lay on, it turns into fire. It turns Amen. into fire. It turns Amen. into fire. It turns Amen. into fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You need another dimension of power to frustrate works of darkness. See, if you know the way wicked spirit operates, they don't just settle for less. They go to renew their powers. Have, have, have you, or have you, you, I, you must have heard of something like that. They go to renew their powers. 
Oh, we want more. We want more power. We want more power so that we can do this and we can do that for Satan. We want more and all the rest. That's the same way a child of God is supposed to be going to get more power from the throne of grace. From the throne of grace. Maybe by impartation. Maybe by laying of hands. Maybe by impartation and all the rest. That's the same way. You are not supposed to be staying in that same level and all the rest. <laughs> As the years keep on going further, the wickedness must keep increasing. Any, any pastor that comes to give you a 2018 prophecy, I'll soon release that. I'll release that during our crossover service, but I'm going to release that during um, 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 even before even before the 2018. I'm going to release that. Well, I'm going to release that so that somebody doesn't say we have entered 2018, and that's why he's releasing that already also. <laughs> because people always find an excuse for everything. So I'm going to release that before 20. Um, 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 18, but I know during our crossover night, uh, I'm going to be sharing that or we're going to play that, you know, live and all the rest. Anybody that comes to tell you that ah, 2018 is a good year, yeah, you know, they always bring good things about it and all the rest. Oh, it's good, this is going to happen, don't worry. It's all going to be laughter and all the rest and joy, no more tears and all the rest. They lie you. This is life to you. <laughs> this is life to you. <laughs> Things will keep getting worse. <laughs> Things will keep getting busier and all the rest. But I believe that one good thing about it is that God gives you the grace, the same grace to uh, of measure. That if, if if the level of darkness is getting high, it gives you a dimension of grace to be able to combat it and all the rest. The hand of the Lord will come upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. But you need to Amen. combat that fire, that fire of God and all the rest, so that when they see you. See, my desire is that when spirits see any rare member, when they see Sister Jacqueline, you know, or when, when they see, you know, Brother Paul, you know, they begin to say, oh, 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 oh no, 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 this one's, uh, this one's a rare member, you know, she's already filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. How can we touch him? How can we touch him and all the rest? You can even tell them, no, no, just go, go to the sea. If you like, well, keep, keep playing with the sea and all the rest. You don't have any business here. The Lord de desires that his children should be able to walk in this dimension of authority and all this. Not one useless person challenging you and telling you that, oh, I'll do this to you. I'll show you. And you are begging, please, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so you are begging the devil. You are begging the devil. Wherever you are, begin to receive that fire. The fire of God <laughs> that helps you to defeat and frustrate every work of darkness. Sir. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Now you repeat after me. Amen. Every demon of impersonation trying to steal my identity. Right. What are you waiting for? Let them catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demon of impersonation. Every demon trying to steal my identity. You are the liar. You are the liar. You are the liar. Understand that prayer point. That's why you will not pray very much well. You know, sometimes when some people, when we are doing something here, some people think that uh, <laughs> there's one thing I'm very much certain about. Every prophetic word is always for somebody, but I, I don't know who that is. I'm not okay. I saw somebody, a sister just wrote to me, and she was like, Oh, that you were talking about a ministry and all the rest that that's why. See, as long as I I I'm just I saw your message right now. As long as that problem has been called out and it was you that the Holy Spirit was talking about, don't worry, it's, it's already a settled matter. See, just what, what you just need to pray for is, oh Lord, if you can open my fire, once the fire has been opened and all the rest, forget about that. You don't even need to worry. In short, you can go and be giving testimony and be um, giving thanksgiving and all the rest. 
I, I see the message here. You, you, you need to tell me about your problem. You need to tell me that that's what you're going through. Or does anybody tell me that it is this and that? I don't believe that anybody tells me that and all the rest. But once that problem is mentioned, don't, you, don't, don't, um, you, don't even, you just need to be rejoicing and be saying, thank you, Jesus. I have, I've seen this in crusades and I've seen this in programs and all the rest. It's the Holy Spirit. That's why I told you that the Holy Spirit is by my side here. Yeah. I'm not just alone here. Yeah. So it's the Holy Spirit that does the work and all the rest. Me, I'm just here, you know, doing the talking. Why the Holy Spirit is here, you know, trying to open the eyes and all the rest. So that's why you need to understand the fact. Now, let me explain something to you about this impersonation and this impersonating spirit. These are powers that in the spiritual realm, they will try to be representing you. But it's not you. <laughs> they are just trying to cause more calamity for you and more problems for you. And they are just trying to cause more disgrace for you. You can imagine, you can imagine, for example, you wanted to go for a job, a job interview and get a good job. And the boss there says, it's like I've seen this in your face before. Uh, you, you're asking yourself, how did you see my face? Where did you see? No, it's like I've seen this in your face. And the only thing he's seeing your face for is an evil thing. It's nothing that, it's not a good, as it's not a good old man and all the rest. There are many cases like this and all the rest. I'm not even talking about the one that happens in the dream. I'm talking about the physical one. These things now come as what I call an evil blanket. An evil blanket that the enemy uses to cover people. That's why when he covers you like that, even if you like, go to Sokoto, go to north, go to south, go to east. Even if you like, travel inside of the air, travel inside of space, go inside of the river and all the rest. Those things will still be there. It needs to be broken and frustrated so that you can have way to do whatever the Lord wants you to do. And so that you can be able to penetrate in the realms of spirit and all the rest. That spirit of impersonation trying to follow you wherever you are going. That we keep power trying to stand in your life. I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I say let it Amen. be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I say let Amen. it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I say Amen. let it be broken. Let him be frustrated. Ah. Those Amen. people that are impersonating, that are trying to use you to achieve their main aim. I thought that they can put you into more trouble. Ah. I said, let him be frustrated. Ah. In the name of Jesus. 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 Ah. Oh, Lord. Let him be free. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood. There is power. Victorious power. There is power in the blood. There is power. There is power. There is power. In the blood, there is power, almighty power, there is power in the blood, there is power, there is power, there is power in the blood, there is power, unquenchable power, there is power. In the blood, there is power, there is power, there is power. In the blood, there is power, I mean Jesus' power, there is power. In the blood, there is power, there is power, there is power. There is power. In the blood, I'm talking of the blood of Jesus. There is power in that cross. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, almighty power. I'm talking of the power in the blood. 
There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, it takes away cancer. There is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. I'm talking of the blood on the cross that crushes your weaknesses. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, my sister, there is power to restore that health issue. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, victorious power. Oh, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. No more sicknesses. In the body, the blood of Jesus flows through your body. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood. You know, somebody here right now, and within this year, if I just look at you, you know where you have spent almost all your money? Sickness in the hospital. You have given plenty of that money to doctors and all the rest. They keep treating and they keep treating and they keep treating. And you are spending so much. I'm even thinking in this money, can this money be used, you know, to multiply God's work? And they keep, you keep spending and spending that money right now. But if you drink the blood, if you drink this blood of Jesus, it's able to heal you. It's able to heal you. And take it away from your life. And you see that you become whole. Why don't you look at the blood? Look at the blood of Jesus. Begin to look at the blood in your spirit. Look at the blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus. I'm talking to you, that sister. Let, let it touch you. Let, let the blood touch you. And, and let the blood heal you. And, and let the blood heal your body. And, and let it heal you. And all the rest. Let the blood do that work in your life. That that diabetes. The, the blood of Jesus is too powerful, and the blood of Jesus is too wonderful, and the blood of Jesus is too glorious, and all the rest. The blood, the blood, the blood. That's why I tell you, you can't die, but you're going to live to declare the glory of God. Let, 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 that, let that blood touch you. You know, the, the Lord showed me the mystery of the blood. I told me, channels here, worship the blood. Come before the blood. Come before the blood is the blood that helps me. Everything you see me doing in the ministries because I come to the blood and I, I see the blood. I see I, I don't have any other strength. The blood is going to help me. You have been redeemed. The blood redeems you. The blood cleanses you. Come to the blood, my sister. Come to the blood, my brother. Come to the blood. Just come to the blood. Worship the blood. Worship the blood of Jesus. This blood can do so much in your life. I'm speaking to you from experience. This blood is too powerful. You don't understand what this blood can do. This blood is too powerful. This blood is too powerful. Come to the blood of Jesus and let the blood work in your life. And let the blood do that work in your life. And let the blood touch you. Let, let it touch you. A drop of the blood. Just just a drop, just a drop. I don't need all. You might not be immersed in the ocean, in the pool of the blood, but a drop, a, a drop. A drop, a drop, a drop. It, it can take that weakness, that, that weakness away from your life and all the rest. It, it can take it away. That, that's why your husband is always complaining. But, but look at the blood. Just look at the blood by your side now. Look, look at the blood by your side and, and touch the blood. And, and touch the blood. Touch the blood. And, and touch the blood. Touch the blood. And I know it's like this 2017 has been one of your worst days. You have lost almost everything and all the rest. And as I'm speaking to you, you are asking, how am I going to get my feedback? How am I going to get my feedback and all the rest. How am I going to get my feedback and all the rest? Just touch the blood. Why, why, why don't I touch the blood? 
touch the blood of Jesus. I touch the blood. That I touch, touch the blood. Let the blood do that work. Let the blood do that work that no man can be able to do. Let the blood do that work. Let the blood do that work. Touch the blood. Touch the blood. You have been saved by the blood. Now go to the blood. Now visualize Jesus on the cross. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus on the cross. Feel the blood. Feel the blood. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Dip your hands in the blood of Jesus. Now dip your hands in the blood. Begin to imagine Jesus in your spirit. Look at Jesus and touch him. He's going to touch you. He's going to touch you. And he's going to remove that pain from your body right now. Look, look at look at Jesus. Jesus, that trauma is going to go away right now. The trauma is going to go away from your life. Look at Jesus and touch him. He's going to touch him with the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood of Jesus. The blood is too powerful. The blood is too mighty. You are right. The blood is the touch of the blood. 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 The there is this confession. You 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 are you are supposed to make it. You you know it. You know it that the Lord has been put into your hand. Why don't you confess it? Confess it. You you did that. You did it. But confess it. Confess it and receive freedom. Just just confess it so that you can be free and all the rest. Confess it and you know do the restitution that you're supposed to do. You know you are supposed to do that. And I know you'll be looking at this is too heavy and you know it's going to cost me a lot of rest. Just just do it. Just do it and be free. Just just do it. And Receive freedom. Just be and receive freedom. Adventure. If you just die like that today, without doing this that you're supposed to do, my sister, you will get into hell. You know, so just do what you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do. And the Lord is going to be afraid to make the confession. And all the rest. And, and you're like, what, what are they going to say about me? What, what are these people going to say? Oh, they're going to say, I did this and all the rest. Just do that. Don't look at anybody. Just do that for your own self and all the rest. And you're going to be free because the blood is there and it's going to fight for you. The blood is going to do it in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Marine powers fear the blood. They, they, they fear the blood. Occultic spirits fear the blood. They, they fear the blood because they also use the blood covenant. But there's a greater blood. I'm not talking of the blood of booze. It's the blood of Jesus. It's going to Touch your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are some persons, you know, and this is another thing that we will destroy right now. Evil umbrellas that are covering your prayer. There are wicked and evil umbrellas. Yeah. It's good to grow in grace. If you are growing in grace, One of the ways you know you grow in grace is in red. If you want to know grace and you are as a Christian, there are there's only two signs me I know. The two signs I see that you will be growing in love and you become more humble. If you were big, you'll be becoming more smaller and all the rest. You'll be becoming more humble. You'll be seeing less of yourself. So whenever I see somebody in REM and I see that this person has not still understood this principle and all the rest that. It's, a, it's about humility and it's about love. This is the true mark of maturity. I still know that this person has not come to a particular realm or this person is not still growing. Why? Because if you are growing in grace, it will, it will show in your prayer life. What I mean if you show in your prayer life, it will show in how fast you can pierce into the spirit world. Because many of the things that hinder some of our prayers from going up 
is sometimes lack of maturity. There are so many things we have allowed to cling into our lives and all the rest. Before you know it, even if you have prayed, because you have not got into a realm in the spirit world and all the rest, where you are so much filled with the fire of love and humility, that prayer we hardly want to pierce in. See, there are principles in the kingdom. Bro. There are principles. Principles. Plenty of principles. And if you begin to obey, if you begin to do those things as, as it is in God's word, you will begin to see the results. And you begin to see the fruitfulness. Wherever you are, the hand of the Lord will come upon your life and will cause you to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Every Amen. wicked power. <laughs> Every evil, wicked power that is putting your glory in a bottle and in a coffin, that is tying it in a bottle, I command it, let them scatter. Let it scatter. Let that coffin and bottle scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire in realms of spirit. Uh. Let it begin to scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, let it begin to scatter. Let it begin to scatter. Let it begin to scatter. Begin to pray. Every evil power, put in your blessing to the bottle. Every evil power, put in my blessing to the bottle. Putting my blood in the coffee right now. I send thunder. I send thunder. I send fire. Every wicked power. Every marine power. Every witchcraft power. Putting my blood in the coffin. In the bottle. I command that bottle to blow right now. By fire. Let it blow. Let it blow. Let it scatter. 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 Let it scatter.
You have some certain things with and all the rest. And you're not be seeing yourself with him. It's not looking as if some of the things that you people had um, together also, you just be seeing yourself with him like that. And even this person, you don't even know where he's staying. You don't even know if this person is dead. You know, <laughs> the funny thing about the devil is this. Eh? That person you are seeing, might not even be on this earth anymore. The person must have died, but you don't know. Eh? Now, the devil comes into the spirit of that person. Is the devil manipulating and using that person? Now, the more you are seeing yourself having fellowship with that person, it's like already having fellowship with Satan. You know, eh? By the grace of God, I know that is when Jesus will come again, we will understand some certain principles. You know, there are many things that the Bible says that um, <clears throat> if it was written in the Bible and all the rest, it won't contain. And I believe that that's why the Holy Spirit came to guide us into all truth and all the rest. There are, you see, Satan, Satan is not a small boy. That's why when I see people abuse Satan and call Satan names, he's a bastard, he's this, I just laugh. I say, you don't even know we are speaking about it. You know we are speaking about you not be, He won't be talking like that. He won't be talking like that. You know, you, oh, you can't defeat him because if this somebody has spent millions of years, he has mastered everything about human nature. He has mastered the oppression of human spirit. There's a difference between the human spirit and the human flesh. There is a difference between the spirit of God and your own spirit. But he has mastered how your own spirit operates and all the rest. If you watch, during the deliverance services, when I say some certain things, and I, I hope if some of you could record this thing and replay it and even jot out some of these prayer points because they are very necessary or they are very important. I'm not saying things just for saying sake. I'm saying things because... I have the understanding of what I'm saying. So I'm not just trying to make a prayer point like, make a prayer point, every power, evil power, lock, and all. No, no. I, I desire to want to go deep into the spirit and all the rest because there are problems I've seen so far. And I've realized that except you understand the deep, the deep mysteries, in short, that's a part of my calling and all the rest. The deep mysteries, the deep mysteries of the kingdom the deep mysteries of the two kinds of kingdom. That's the only way you can cause revival. Because if you don't understand the operations of the kingdom of that kind, you only understand the operations of the kingdom of God. You won't cause revival. And you won't revive any soul. And all the rest. And people will still be put under bondage. And all the rest. That's why it's my desire by the special grace of God. And I always believe. I, I know that in 2018 we're going to have we're going to, don't worry, don't worry. You are, I know barrenness is another issue and all the rest. Don't worry. We're going to have the sound cry of babies. 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 We're going to have babies. 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 Amen. babies. Amen. Because if those things were arrows of darkness or something that they have caged or they have tied your blood 
or kept your semen somewhere and all the rest, those banks will be shattered in the mighty name of Jesus. He has no choice than to be shattered. He has no choice than to be shattered. It has no choice that to be shattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that's why I just want you to believe. And that's why I just want you to know that I believe that restoration is coming upon our life right now. The hand of the Lord is coming upon your spirit Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You must be careful. There are people that do not speak by the spirit of God. They speak by spirit of demons. Whenever somebody is speaking to you, try to be in the spirit to understand who is speaking. Are you hearing me? There are two spirits operating in this earth. Whether you know it or you don't know it, the spirit of God and the spirit of Lucifer. These are the two kinds of spirits. One, one of these spirits is either speaking through somebody that is speaking. Sometimes when somebody calls me, what I'm trying to think is, which spirit is speaking? Sometimes I diagnose, I know it's not a spirit of God. <laughs> there are some certain things you will not use to cajole me. <laughs> no matter what, because as you are speaking, I'm trying to understand what, why you are speaking what you are speaking. And I'm trying to, that's why I will just be laughing with you, but I know what I'm doing. I'm just telling you this so that even if you, if, I'm not saying you should not speak to me, even if you are still speaking to me, I'm still trying to diagnose why you are trying to say what you are saying. Except I'm not, I'm not, um, I don't want to have the understanding of it and all the rest, and I just want to keep talking and all the rest, but I'm trying to understand why, why is this person speaking like this? Out of what spirit are you speaking? At that moment, you can be speaking in tongues in your spirit to resist the demon spirit that is coming out of the person. I might not be able to explain this very better, but my prayer is that you understand what I'm trying to say. It will set you from a whole lot of havoc by the special grace of God. And the Lord, the hand of the Lord will come upon your life. By the grace of God, I'll soon do the final declaration. And then even if we have our children there, you can bring them and uh, I'm going to do the final declaration. Some of you, as you're going to be dead, the Holy Spirit will show you something and will show you something great. And somebody will just come and give you a blessing or, you know, give you something and all the rest. And sign of, you know, the blessing, you know, the blessing um, from, from what you have received uh, from tonight by the special grace of God and we have many videos like this on YouTube, we have deliverance from Marine Agent uh, Marine Kingdom Part 1, Part 2 I don't even know if it's Part 3 we have many of them like this and you know, destroying um, wicked powers, foundational powers and all, they are all on YouTube so you can always go there and get them and, and watch them and all the rest, another thing again is that before I go into the final prayer is that uh, there's only one thing that I think sometimes it might be a problem even if you come for all the prayers, you still need the word of God. What I'm saying you need the word of God is that some people that come to take the word, they pray according to the wavelength of the word that they have heard. So if you are not praying without the understanding of the word of God that they have got, you will not be praying with revelation. Then they are praying with revelation. <laughs> you, you are just praying from your mouth. Maybe because I say, say this prayer point. Then they are praying with understanding because over time, they have heard the word and they have been here and they have come to understand the operations of the spirit and all the rest. So that's why I advise, try to be uh, in the Bible study so that the charismatic fire, you can get the word. I mean the sure word. The, the word of God is the bottom line uh, that takes us to heaven so that you can get that by the special grace of God. Uh, and um, let, let's also do well. On Friday too is another night. Today is always deliverance and on Friday is uh, BG, but I don't know if very soon we're going to change it or something like that. But when we change it, we'll, we'll let us know. But for now, we still have the Mondays and the Fridays and all the rest. And I know that during the Fridays, I know that that's why many of us don't go to work and all the rest. And uh, no, I don't know. I was thinking that we bring Monday to Friday or Friday to Monday. I don't know. So ever, all I know is that the programs, with all the programs, <laughs> will still do what he wants to do by the special grace of God. So after you've received tonight's deliverance, don't, don't worry anymore. Uh, don't murmur anymore. Allow God to have his way. And you know, it's good. Problems are good. You know, I like, I like problems are very good. It's good. It's good we have plenty of problems. It's very good. It shields us. It keeps you from a whole lot of things. It helps you to be serious with God. I wouldn't have come to the Lord if I didn't have plenty of problems. So it was those problems personally for me that led me to the Lord and all the rest. So God used those things to draw me close to him. So God uses problems, sufferings, trials, not uh, where you just have prosperity, 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 prosperity. 
and he's now looking as if um, the world is a fairy tale. It's not a fairy tale at all. Yes. There are times whereby God is trying to pass you through something. And I'm not trying to tell you that after you have prayed, all your problems will go away. It's a lie. All your problems cannot go away. If all your problem goes away, some of you will not talk to God again. Some of you, some of you will even leave the presence of God. You know, some of you will not even know God at all. At all. So it's good. God will still put some certain things to hold you. And there is no human being on this earth. Even the greatest man of God has a particular problem. He's prayed that God is, you know, using that and subduing him and telling him, I will not solve this one now. I will solve this one now. So that he doesn't become very proud and thinks that he has everything to himself and all the rest. And I know God will do his work in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're in France, write to me so that you can be added to the France Fellowship and... Um, um, if you're in Germany or if you're in the USA or so, so that I can be added, please try to be in the meetings because I'll try to be in some of those general meetings also and be ministering in the world also and in the USA fellowship, try to be there and um, if you're in Canada also, try to be there in all those fellowship and in the United Kingdom fellowship and if you're watching online, maybe South Africa, in Ghana also, try to write to us so that you can be added to those fellowship. We desire to be a family by the special grace of God and you know, before we go to the final declaration, let's try as much as possible to make effort to be a part of our camp project and all the rest. Don't you like it, you know, as we are starting the church on ground so that people are able to come to the camp and not just only you, you go are far away. So let those people that are close by, let them be able to come and get the power directly and all the rest and let them be able to come there to feel the fire of God. So that's why we are doing that. So it's not for me and all the rest. Is still for the body of Christ and it's still for every one of us. So let's try to be a part of it. By the I know that I'm just waiting for a signal from the Holy Spirit. I might do something radical very much soon. Very radical. Some of you might like it, some of you might not like it, and all the rest. But I'm just waiting for the Holy Spirit to tell me that Chedo said, This is what I want you to do now, and all the rest. So let's do our best to labor um, towards that so that we can get the calm ground and many of you can, you know. When you come down to Nigeria of our upcoming conference, our upcoming conference, by God's grace, is around September, but we'll fix the date and let you know. And so just prepare yourself and begin to prepare your ticket. So it's not just going to be the REM first Holy Ghost Fire Conference, but the Holy Ghost Fire Conference with deliverance. There are some deliverance that is not possible to just do online like this. Some of them need laying of hands, and some of them also need a little bit of fasting programs and all the rest. But by the grace of God, I'm just trying to use the unction and the anointing to see how best, you know, the Holy Spirit can take us. And I believe that I've seen a lot of testimonies and a lot of things through this and all the rest. So keep inviting your friends, your family, even your enemies. Keep inviting them. Don't you want your enemies to be blessed? Keep inviting your enemies. And so we don't pray that the enemy should die and die and die. If they die, how are they going to come to the Lord? <laughs> so but we just pray that, you know, that the spirit behind what is wrong with them, let that spirit be destroyed by fire, you know. So that's the main. So keep inviting them to come, and I know God will bless us. And let me tell you the simple truth also. There is no perfect church. That's what I've realized. Let me tell you the simple REM is not perfect. Uh, we are pressing on to perfection. So if you are expecting to see perfection in REM, you will waste your time. You know why I say you waste your time? Because you will look for perfection. You will not see perfection. There are still some certain things God allows, and that is the reason. The Bible says only when He comes, we will be like Him. So now He has not come, we cannot be like Only when He comes. When Jesus comes, we will not fully be like him. The church will not look like him. But we are pressing on to perfection because we don't know when he's going to come. So we are just pressing on and all the rest. So you might begin to see one or two things and all the rest. It doesn't mean that this is this and all the rest. It's just to show you that God, no church is very perfect and all the rest. But I believe by God's grace, the love of God is going to help us to be more perfect, uh, to press on to perfection, sorry, and then to be like Jesus mm -hmm. by grace of God. Okay, wherever you are, just place your hand on your body and all the rest and while we do the final declaration, if you have any place in your body, you want the hand of the Lord to touch you and all the rest, I believe that the Holy Spirit has already done it and I believe that testimonies are going to abound in your life. Let me tell you the simple truth. Let me give you a secret. If you want to get more testimonies or if you want your problems to be called out during any of my programs and maybe crusades or Friday, the Friday vigil or Monday deliverance or anything, Try as much as possible to pray before that time. Pray and pray and pray. Say, Lord, 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 this is me. Now that your prayer will do something in the realms of the spirit. It will allow the Holy Spirit. It will shake the spirit world. And before you know it, I'll just get an utterance. And all of a sudden, it's just about you and all the rest. 
I know what I'm talking about. But many of the reasons why some people don't get is that they don't pray, you know, even before the prayer. They don't have a body. They don't even know what they want the Lord to do for them. They just come like that and all the rest. And if you come like that, you won't get so much of result, okay? I know God will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will bless someone today. <laughs> the Lord will bless someone today. The Lord has blessed someone today. The Lord has blessed someone today. It may be you. It may be me. It may be someone by my side. It may be you. It may be me. It may be someone by my side. I think if I take my depression, let me just ensure I know everybody here so that I'm just trying to create fellowship, you know. I see Sister Joy there. Um, I, I know the other person is sleeping. And that's how that daughter, I always like to see how that daughter because she's always also on fire, as little as she is, you know. So uh, sometimes I always ask myself, I wish, you know, when I was five years old or seven years old, I knew the Lord or something like that. And it's very wonderful. So bring your children close to you. I don't understand. I want to ask myself, is it that prayers are only for old people or something like that? Uh, the Bible studies are only for old people. Is it that children and your boys and all the rest? I, I believe if I have kids, even if they are two, three years, as I'm praying, you'll be praying with me and all the rest. That's that's the same way I want to train a generation and all the rest. Even if they are five years old, you'll be praying. You'll be going for evangelism, same way I go for evangelism. What I'm doing, you've been doing. And then wherever I travel, I will even carry them so that they can learn and they can become men of God, you know, and they can become women of God and all the rest. So bring your children with you. Bring them close to you and all the rest. Let them see what mommy is doing and let them see what daddy is doing and let them not think that life is all perfect and all the rest. You don't know what you are doing in your life by bringing them close to you. So I don't know, some of us, I don't know if it's only, you think little people don't have problem and all the rest. If you know the kind of powers that are wait for them or that is waiting for them for another five years or 10 years. That's why we have a lot of smokers and people doing a lot of rubbish and all the rest because the foundation was not pure. So try as much as possible. I know God will help us. I see Sister Joy and I know God's eye there. God's eye is cooked a or so. God's eyes. So that's true. The eyes of God is watching me also. <laughs> and I see Stella Timmy. Stella Timmy, where is your, your other twin sister or your other friend and all the rest? Okay, maybe she's going to come later. God bless you. And um, as this is that Gloria, um, I'm trying to remember the son name, but I know I know the Gloria also. <laughs> also and I believe, I think that's your, this, I don't know if this is your first time here and all the rest. I know you've been watching from Facebook or so. Um, but there's always a difference when you're watching on Facebook and when you're here on Zoom. When you're here on Zoom, it looks, you know, you 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 get it raw, you know, than when you're on Facebook. So for some of you watching on Facebook, try to get here. I don't know, leave Facebook for the other people. And I see uh, Sister Veronica, you're blessed. And uh, Sister Sister uh, Zua, you're blessed. And Sister Titi, you're blessed. And Sister Sarah Nora, Nosa, you're blessed. I know that Sarah Nosa from Italy or France. I don't know, but I think so. And Sister Gadima, uh, you're blessed. So try to bring others with you. And Sister Gift Paulinos, you're blessed. Try to bring others with you. And Mercy David, you're blessed. Rhea Princess, you're blessed. Justina Corona, you're blessed. And um, um, Sister Oguna, you're blessed. And um, Sister Jacqueline, playing with the baby. Also, the baby is also blessed, you know. And I love those children so much. So he's also blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. And um, okay, that's Jacqueline. And uh, uh, Sister Tracy Gloria, you're, you're blessed. Tracy, Tracy, is that a nickname or is that your full name? I know the rest, you're blessed in the name of Jesus. Okay, and Sister Ushala, you're blessed. And Sister, Sister Mabe, you're blessed. Sister Mabe won't reply my messages, okay, uh, as well. And uh, Sister Rebecca, you're blessed. And, um, and Sister Cynthia, you're blessed. And Obianudo, outside, I don't know if that's a brother, you're blessed. And uh, Brosondi and Sister Christy, you're blessed. And Bro David, you're blessed. And Sister Sarah, Holy Bali, you're blessed. Sister Sarah, and I hope you bring uh, all those your friends also so that they can pray the way you're praying. And Sister Juliet, you're blessed, and your family is covered with the blood of Jesus already. And Bro Paul, I hope my sister is also there with you praying. I hope she's not sleeping. I hope so. And Sister Rose, you're blessed. Um, I think that's Ruch Eka also. And Sister Evelyn, you're blessed. And Sister Patience, you're blessed. Uh, Patience Cushion. Uh, it's been it's been long, you know. Maybe I'm still going to try to call you up with time. Um, sister, is it Jackie Joseph, sister or brother? You're blessed, and sister Amen, sister Precious, sister um, Pascaline. You're blessed and happy ways, and bro Samson, sister Christiana. Happy birthday once more again. We love you, and sister Jacinta. You're blessed, and 
um, Bro Thomas and uh, Sister Val and Bro Oli, LinkedIn, you're blessed. So please, let's try to use our pictures and let's try to be on a video. You see, I can't even see you very much. Well, and I want to know if I'm speaking to human beings or, you know, if it's not like spirit or something like that. So let's try as much as well. on the video <laughs> so that I can I will put a picture, you know, so that you can see how great it is. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, I thank you for your children and I thank you for your love towards their life. And I thank you for all that you've done. It shall be permanent. What Jesus has done for them it shall be permanent. Oh, Lord God Almighty, it's not because of me. It's because of the cross. I personally cannot do anything of my own. It's because of the Holy Spirit that stands by my side. It's the reason for everything, O King of all glory. Let thy name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Every part of their body, wherever they are pains, pains, get away right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord God Almighty, as they go to bed, you speak to them. You, you fill them with divine revelations, Lord. You send your angel, the angel of blessings, to come and give to them the blessings that you have unleashed for them within this program in the name of Jesus Christ. And every attitude and character that might want to take the blessing away. Because when the angel comes, if he doesn't seize you with a befitting character, he's going to just take it away and go and give it back to the Father and all the rest. Your blessings will not just be taken away from you. They will be multiplied upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Almighty, I thank you and I know for the little children here, you bless them, you bless their lives, you, you bless their soul, you bless their spirit. In the academic, they are blessed. They'll be the best, Lord God Almighty, Lord. The same way you gave me grace academically, Lord, you give them exceeding grace and, you know, academically in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, and they'll become great men and, you know, great women of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon fashioned against those children would ever prosper in the name of Jesus. They are covered. Even if their foundational power is trying to set arrows on them, it will not work because they are covered by the blood in the name of Jesus. I cover every family here and all your children, even the ones that are not here with the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, the bed that you will sleep in, I cover it with the fire of God. Any demon spirit that will stand around that bed, I command you, get away in the name of Jesus. Forgetfulness of dream, it is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Remembering half of your dream is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, as you go to bed, begin to enjoy the fullness of the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Begin to enjoy what the Lord has done. Every power under your bed. Is it a snake? Is it a viper? Is it a scorpion? Is it a spiritual wicked power that is under the bed? Just trying to wait to zap all the blessings that the Holy Spirit has given to you tonight. Wherever you are, I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. I say catch fire wherever you are in the name of Jesus. You have no choice than to catch fire. You have no choice. Oh, Lord, for those that are here in their ministries, you will bless them, Lord, and you will equip them, Lord, and you will enlarge them, Lord, and you will expand them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In their working place, Lord, you will do their, your work, Lord. For those asking for documents and visas and whatsoever it is, Lord, let them begin to receive divine documents from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. And let them begin to receive those residential permit, Lord. She's been applying for that for a long time now. Oh, Lord, do your work in that life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, King of all glory, thank you for I know that you have done it. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. He has done it. Jehovah Jireh, he has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. He has done it for you. Jehovah, he has done it. He has done it. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. He has done it for you. Jesus, he has done it. He has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. Elion, he has done it. He has done it for you. So please, let's not go until the grace is taken so that you can get your final blessings. There are three stages of the blessing. The first is in the benediction. The second blessing is in the offerings. And the third blessing is in the final closing prayer and the grace. That's how it is being divided in heaven. And that's why some people can come to a service. And when you get to heaven, they will tell you, you didn't attend any church service. And you'll be like, why didn't I attend any church service? And the Lord said, you know, you were only there for the first settings, but you just went out and all the rest. And you didn't know that the angel was there to distribute the blessings. These things are secrets that I give to you. And I believe that these secrets are from the kingdom of God. God bless you and keep you. I hand over to our sister Pascaline in Jesus' name. I love you.
Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. We love you too. Um, brethren, we want to thank the Lord for that powerful session of prayer and let us begin to commit the man of God into the hands of God right now for the Lord to refill him everywhere that he has lost strength, anointing, anything he has lost, let the Lord God Almighty begin to refill him, empower him right now, begin to open your mouth and pray. Can we unmute um can we unmute ourselves and pray for Lord Amen. 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 Brethren, let us cover all our prayers with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Every blessing hijacker, let us begin to rebuke them now. Let we go fire against them. They will not be able to see our prayers and our blessings tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer. Jesus. My Lord and my God, the saint of praise, oh God, every oh God, that sent me prayer, oh God, that magnet prayer, my Father, and now we the Father of God to bless it, to praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer collector, I speak with my Holy Spirit, the life of my has lost memory in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace of Pesia, I have this prayer collector. Whatever that you are using, you are praying for you, you are using your house. I command you to destroy you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You can give them no spiritual entity from the pit of hell. Let the fire of God destroy you. Let the fire of God burn you. I return your power to nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover our prayer tonight with the blood. I let you put our prayer with the Holy Ghost fire. No evil shall use our prayers in this house tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I let you put it with fire, God. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Brethren, we have come to the time of our offerings. This is offering time, blessing time. Um, you can see the information right there for the offerings. We have three ways to do our offerings and uh, just copy that so that you can have it with you when you are ready to help the ministry in one way, support the ministry in one way or the other with your finances. And may the Lord bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, we are going to introduce uh, the newcomers again. We did so in the beginning of the program, but uh, I believe some people were added later on. If you have not introduced yourself, please do well to introduce yourself to us. If you are new with us, please unmute your mic, tell us your name and where you are joining from so that perhaps the country coordinators can reach out to you and also be able to add you to their group so you can have fellowship close by. Please unmute your mic and tell us your name and where you're joining from. Amen. Okay. So no new person was added after the initial introduction. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister, amen. It is good to see you back with us after a long, small break. Thank you so but much. I'm happy to be in the midst of my brethren. Amen. Amen. Please, Sister, amen. You are going to lead us in the monthly declaration. Please lead oh, us in the question. I don't, ha I don't have it. All. Except, okay. Let me see. If, is it? It's posted. Okay. Let me see. Please. Amen. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are not, if you are not able to get to it, it's okay. We just call on somebody else to help us. Sister Christy, can you read us the monthly declaration, Ma, please? 
It's a great yes, time you. you are welcome, Ma. God bless you. Thank you, Ma. This is my motto of evangelism. This is my motto of evangelism. To preach the word. To preach the word. To deliver the oppressed. To deliver the oppressed. It's a great burden for soul. With a great burden for soul. So help me God. So help me God. And the people of God say, Amen. Can we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace, the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of, the love of God, God, and the, and the spirit fellowship of the Holy Spirit, spirit. be with us I will forevermore. forevermore. Surely, all goodness and mercy, and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days of our life. life. Shalom.